Hey y'all, how y'all doing, fire signs? Okay, so I've been MIA for a while. Okay, now then, how apparently this is going, real quick, real quick. I'll pull three cards. I'm only going to read one on this read. Um, I'm only going to read for one card on this video. Then I'll do two other parts because if you look at the air signs, that's how it started. So we're going to finish strong. I'll make a video explaining it. But let's hop into it. So we are doing the surrender cards and we are clarifying with the African American Tarot and the Angel Oracle cards. That's the theme tonight. So that's what we're going with. We're not doing the disclaimer. We're not promoting the workbook or what have you. <clears throat> if you want to help promote it, you can put it in the comments, please. If you have it and have used it. Otherwise, let's just get it rolling. All right. So I'm going to pull three cards for the fire signs. <laughs> All right. Angels, give me uh, three cards for the fire signs, please. Thank you. One, two, three. All right. The first card is surrender to your full power. The second card is surrender to wonder and awe. And the third card is surrender to negative thinking. All right. I will do an explanation video of how this even happened. But let's just go with it. So we're only going to do this, clarify this card and talk about this one, which is surrender to your full power i'll read the um i'll read this once i finish picking up whatever i pick up let's just get moving okay fire signs wait all right so you may have been um questioning there may be a new project here um that has come up or there may be something that you are going up against that may be bigger than what you thought at first right you may have uh, planned and strategized a way of moving forward, and now you're realizing that um, you didn't make enough plans or you didn't do enough research to make proper to plan things properly. What they're saying is, if you really know that it, this is what you were meant to do, you were meant to conquer, you were meant to experience, you want to surrender to your full power, right? You want to give um, give over and give into what you are really and truly made of. This is your time to shine. This is your time to um, allow yourself to be seen in a way that you may not have been seen before. Whatever it is that uh, prompted you to move into this or to tackle this or whatever it is, right? Whatever it is that, that came um, into play, right? That momentum, that energy, remember that the beginning right try not to think about the end part remember the beginning and go ahead and work it step by step but also know that all of the tools that you will need you already have them and if you don't have them or don't see how you will be able to accomplish certain things it will be readily available to you as long as you show up for the process that's what you see i don't know what this is but what it was <laughs> It's giving a lot of information. Um, you may want to do some solar plexus meditations or just really focus more on momentum instead of trying to go back to the drawing board here and put things off or procrastinate about what could possibly happen or what, what, what you may need to do each step of the way with all this newfound information that you have. They're saying, don't, you know, you want to go with it what you need will appear go with it you are already born with the tools it's just that it's time for you to um bear witness to what it's like to be living in faith bear witness to what it's like to bear witness okay i'll go with it get comfortable <laughs> yeah 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 there's a lot of power um, within you. I feel like the, like a lot of what you think will need to be done won't even be. It won't. You won't need to even worry about that. There's no need for you to um, overthink this. It's time for you to really step into who you truly are. A lot of you may have recently come into um, 
gotten more clarity on your purpose. I know it may be scary, but you have to remember that um, my hair smell good. You may have to remember that you know, there's nothing on, on this planet that um, isn't equipped with what it came here to do and how it came here to do it. A tree doesn't know that it's going to have to provide you shade until the, the branches grow, until the leaves begin to flourish or what have you, right? Hmm. A tadpole don't start off hopping. Hmm? Moving forward. Clarify. Yeah. Because I feel as though there may be some um, challenges or what will, what you will perceive as challenges, but it not, it's not really. It's not, it's not a challenge. I get that from those clouds. Because some of you may even feel like your work or the way that you do things, there's a cloud over your head or there's just bad luck following you and all that. No, this is part of your process. And when you change um, the way that you think, think about things, the way that you view things, things will begin to change, right? It may be a slow and daunting process, but overall it happens, right? What information do you have for the five signs, please, and thank you. What information do you have for the five signs, please, and thank you. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. That's it. Okay, I can end it right there. The heart of a lion, the heart of a tiger, the heart. Going with what you know is true. A lion don't know that it can take down the elephant. I mean, um, not that it doesn't know, but a lion has a type that type of heart. Like, I don't give a damn about you being bigger than me. Like, your obstacles and challenges. I don't care about your, you know, you looking and appearing to be bigger than me. Like, no, I can take that down. As long as you got heart, heart gets you a long way, right? Um, you are flying high right now right um which may threaten others but don't descend because others will soon become so with this comes um you want to be mindful of who you are having conversations with if you are having conversations about um the possible challenges or obstacles that are going on and if someone is feeding you even more stuff to be worried about why would you even right um because here's the thing a lot of times we don't see how far we can go. A lot of times we don't see how powerful we are. A lot of times we don't see or we are not in tune with like how big our presence is in our environment, right? Or what we came here to do and how we came here to do it. A lot of times outside to see more um, of our potential or of, um, where we are going than we do, right? So you want to be mindful of that because there may be people um, around you while you are um, using this time to really um, go into, step into your full power and tackle these um, obstacles, challenges, these goals or what have you. Uh, you want to be mindful of the conversations that you are having with people because just because someone can see something doesn't mean that they are rooting for you. Just because they can see something, they may even see how, um, they may see the pessimistic, pessimistic side of it. And what you don't want is that to interfere with you stepping into your power. You have to honor the guidance of your heart. You have It's important for you to, I'm working on the steel, y'all. It's important for you to honor the guidance of your heart, your true source, your true um, connecting, connecting to that power, connecting to that guidance, connecting to that discernment, connecting, connecting, connecting. Make sure the, the, the heart, the throat, the uh, third eye, the crown, the soul star are all connecting anyway, so that that way any foreseeable um, issues or any foreseeable um, challenges, obstacles, or even answers, you already know. You already be ready for it. <laughs> That's what they said. Clarify this surrender to full power. You have an important life purpose that has to do with communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. This is Archangel Gabriel. So with um, that being said, right, um, some of you may have some throat chakra. That's probably why, you know, heart, throat, pineal, um, crown, so sorry, right? That throat chakra may be um, being activated, right? So you may be... Um, 
coming more into a space where you're stepping more into your truth when it comes to how powerful your voice is if you do music or what have you, right? Or how powerful your voice is when it comes to speaking to people or stepping out into your purpose when it comes to whatever it is that has to do with communicating, right? You may even be a teacher who is taking on a different grade level. And not knowing that that's part of your purpose, to take on that grade level. You probably didn't want to or what have you. Or kind of fearful, like, oh, I heard about these teenagers. They are woo, right? So, <coughs> 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 then you have Ariel. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Sorry. Then you have Ariel, right? Ariel is saying that there's new psychic and spiritual experiences. This gives download every time. So there may be a download that is coming through that also goes with that activation in the throat. Um, take time take, take time out to really be with yourself when you have these downloads or what have you. Also be mindful of smoking um, sativa. When you are um, having this download, right? Especially now, especially with it having to do something with the throat, your ability to speak, communicate, the way that you, um, the way that the head and the heart are connected is also important, is what I'm picking up. But I also feel that um, when you, uh, you know, oh, look, through study, okay, the world, okay, allow your spiritual gifts to open. Okay, take your time with yourself, all right? Everything that you receive, is may not be, it may not be time for you to communicate that, right? Everything that you receive, it may not be time for you to, um, uh, you know how when you learn something, it's not time for you to really act on it or synthesize that information until it's the time. You got to know when it's time. Because what I'm getting here is that they're, they're saying through study, prayer, and meditation, right? I get that some of you are... Um, connecting with a new spirit guide as well or you are getting a new spirit team for this next level that you are um, being um, initiated into on a spiritual level a lot of you are going through mystery schools and it hasn't been very clear to you how this works in your everyday life but it will eventually you see clarify this surrender to full power please and thank you all right it's time for the old you it's time for you to bury to release, bury, put a tombstone on the old you, the old way of being, right? You're going through a rebirth, a transformation that is beyond your um, ability to, beyond your current. Because once you grow through this and go through this and grow through this, you'll be able to under, understand it better on the other side. But at the end of the day, with this um, release, you're going to move more into... Um, being this is moving you more into a um something that is more in alignment with your path you will be receiving more so that you can give more you will be receiving more information so that you will have more information to give you will be receiving more clarity in uh your root maybe your root chakra but your your foundation your ancestry or what have you so that you can give more this is the king of pentacles this is the divine masculine possibly that you are stepping into, balancing that out, and now you are seeing how that works for you and who it and and where it works in, in your life here. But with this uh, King of Pentacles, what I'm getting is that this is bringing in abundance. This is bringing in uh, some kind of stable income, right? Or it could be someone outside of you here, fire sign. Who knows? But this is an offer coming in. Someone wants to make an offer here. Um that is going to bring in a lot of financial reward, but overall the spiritual reward is here. It's on you how you utilize this when you step into your full power, how you balance this out as a protector, a provider, um, as a brother, uh, what have you here. Um, okay. Whether you're a man or a female, a male or a female, well, not the brother part unless you mean, cause I can't be your brother. I'm just saying, um, I also feel that there are some deep-rooted truths that are being revealed about the father's side of the family. There are some deep-rooted truths being revealed about the um, the male, the masculine side of the family when it comes to the actual male gender in the family. Okay, we child wait. It's getting late. Doing it again. All right. Many will come to listen to you. Many will come to hear you. Many will be at your feet in order to be blessed by you in some type of way here. Um, I also feel that there is some type of gift that has been given over to you or bestowed upon you. It skipped about two or three generations and now you have it, but it comes from the father's side. 
with this Ace of Pentacles, I feel as though this is going to be a lot of abundance that is coming in, but how you water this seed is how it is going to grow. This is the Hermit in Reverse. You want to make sure that you are in alignment with your intuition. Go ahead and uh, make sure that you are doing your meditations, praying, or what have you, in order for you to um, be as fruitful as this King of Pentacles is um, providing in your ancestry for you to be, right? And the um, Hermit is... Uh, Virgo, right? But I also feel that turning your back, going more practical and leaving out the spiritual is not going to be very beneficial for you if you are deciding to do that or trying to do that. Turning your back on your intuition, turning your back on uh, growing spiritually, whatever that means to you, because some of you may have gone through a, a, a stage where you are ready to give up or um, release or relieve yourself of some type of tradition that may be firmly planted in your family that is you may not know how to work it or how it um what it has to do with you and your life because it just seems so dumb or mundane or what have you but it's actually connecting you to your gifts whatever that means now then <clears throat> clarify this ace of pentacles um i also feel that ooh, child there is a young um uh, there's two boys two younger boys who will um, be uh, one? One there may be one bo one male son waiting to be born, but there's two male boys that when you water this seed and how this plant, how you plant this for this goes with the generational cycles, generational wealth, generational. Um, this is something to help two boys that are younger than you, very young, maybe five and three or one and four or something like that yeah because i feel like you made a choice here you want to uh work on what it is that you've been working on you want to keep your nose uh planted in um you know keep your eyes on your own paper right with this eight of pentacles there's been a lot of work that has been done and it's like you are in a space where like why reinvent the wheel and you turn your back on your intuition you turn your back on what it is that has helped you so far you just hadn't recognized or realized how far it's helped you because you feel like it's stupid or something like that. Like, no, I'm about what's practical. I'm about what's this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look. Mm? And you have the lovers in reverse, which is um, an imbalance of the divine counterparts within. But also, um, there may be some type of uh, connection that happened in the past that caused you to break free from uh, societal norms or even just uh, doing things in a certain way and feeling as though, no. Because I feel like some of you may be more and more... Uh, into your masculine energy than balancing out the masculine and the feminine, right? Um, but someone is making a choice to release themselves from any type of romantic um, influence, release themselves from any type of romantic connections, release themselves from something that may have been toxic in a connection in order for them to work. But the thing is that they are putting themselves so far into their work and so stuck in the practical that they're not seeing the spiritual side of things. You don't have to work as hard if you see it from both aspects, right? Balancing the spiritual and the practical, this will help you to surrender to your full power. But you're going to see it, though. <clears throat> It is what it is, honey. Now, let's see. Oh, y'all like that? <laughs> Trying something right there. All right. And just how much do you have for my beautiful fire signs surrendering to their full power? Yep. There may have been some type of uh, lies or betrayal that um, you felt that that weakened you, but it really strengthened you if you look at it that way. It depends on how you look at it. What was the lesson learned? How has it made you a better person? How has it made you a better person for all of us out here? Um, with this seven of uh, swords, you may even be in a space where you feel as though, you know, you are limited and you are realizing your limitations. You are realizing that you can think outside the box. You can do things outside the box. You are also realizing with this eight of wands that... You can um, defy the odds, right? As long as you use your spiritual side. So many of you are waking up even more so to your gifts and your spiritual side and how that works and how easily your words turn into things, right? Or experiences. Okay. Clarify this uh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups. Worrying about what ifs and what was and what could be. Um, 
stressing about the illusion of um, having so many things to do and not enough time, giving over to giving handing your power over to um, certain types of emotions that are no longer even serving you, and it's time for you to release those and let those go. Um, I also feel that you may have, um, you may be in a space of that, um, you may think that you are losing something or will lose something and now you have to figure out what you're going to do to make things right or make sure that you are okay in the future. I don't feel like that's even valid with that seven of cups. I don't think it's real, told you. Because at the end of the day, things are going to work out. Things are going to balance out. Things are going to um, be brought back into alignment with that six of pentacles. It could be that um, the scales are tipping in your favor with the sun and the six of pentacles, right? I'm seeing where there's a new beginning here. There's a new childlike energy that is coming in as well. There's a new... Uh, new expressions of love, new reasons for being here, new confidence and um, courage that is coming up out of you and moving forward so that you can um, be the best you that you can possibly be in this next phase in your life. Um, I feel as though there's something to do with um, a boarding pass or a boarding, um, something to do with boarding. A boarding house, a board. Maybe you are looking into doing like some homeless charities or creating some type of non nonprofit organization that is going to really bring balance into your life, and that way you're balancing the phys uh, the practical and the spiritual as well. Um, I also feel that many of you will begin to uh, realize how your bloodline, uh, like I, for some reason, I feel like something is being revealed to you where people on your father's side were not what you were told when you were young and that's going to begin to make sense of why you do certain things and how you do certain things and how you can capitalize on that power from the past based on the new information that you have and that may be why there's some type of chaos or confusion with how you move forward but i really feel like you are going to be ready for whatever these challenges are you're going to be ready for whatever um it's coming into coming to pass here when it comes to um, how you do things, who you are out in this world, and um, really being strengthened by this warrior spirit, okay? Now, some of you may even be in a space where you are not re revealing how you feel about certain things. Um, people can only see, maybe you have a smug look or just a blank face or um, the way that you appear to people is irritating them. You may be triggering people. <laughs> Welcome to the United uh, states of corporations or wherever you're from because we got people from all over the world over here but for some reason in the united states of corporations people are triggered by everything council culture i don't know where that came from it had to be some kind of government plant for them to be doing that and having folks out here tripping like that how did it, how did so many people fall into um line with it how are so many people just in this whole mindset of the same type of like one person says something and all these people jump on the bandwagon i'm a firm believer in doing your own research taking everything with a grain of salt what i say what anybody say i'm just saying that's why I, you know why you know fall into this whole anything you can do i can do better but i'm doing the same shit like what the fuck right so that's what I feel like. Some of you are not, you got your game face on and it's triggering people. Um, some of you are, um, like even you may used to eat lunch with someone or do something with someone and now you have cut them off or um, you are being a certain way with them to where they're not used to that, but now they're mad. So you'll begin to feel it. I don't know what's going on. I've been in my body a lot this year, right? Even more so. I pick up a, um, even more so this year when it comes to who is for me and who is not, it, it, I pick it up very, very quickly. Quicker than I used to. It's interesting. So many of you may also be going through that as well, where you just know. And something just tells you, like, no, I need to cut this off. I need to, you know, distance myself. I need to create boundaries. And they, someone is very uh, adamant about... Like, they are looking over your shoulder. They are peeking into your life. They are trying to figure out what it is that you are doing. How, like, you got some strong boundaries up, but they are just sitting there. This may be someone that weighs more than you, or they may be bigger than you in some kind of way, like taller, or maybe um, they are um, uh, higher ranking in something, or maybe they are even um, on a different level in the company, right? It's something about a hierarchy, right? So they are somewhere higher than you or what have you. But I feel as though they may, they're going to... Be mindful of this. This person may uh, 
they they begrudging. They are they are mad about how they can't read you. They can't figure things out with you now, and they may put you in a situation where they you will be able to know when you walk in the room or walk into the situation that you have been discussed. Um, I feel like they're going to welcome you in and try to butter you up or what have you. If you don't read that situation correctly, you are walking right into the lion's den. So you want to be mindful of that because I feel like there's a, uh, this could be court. This could be um, a job, boardroom, conference. Um, I just really feel like someone is trying to lead you in a lion's den because they know that you are moving. Um, but they can't tell how you are moving or what it is that you are doing because you've been tight-lipped and you created boundaries, you step back because you got your own stuff going on. You have your own stuff going on. And, and in this day and age, a lot of people don't understand or um, they don't understand because people are all about themselves, right? So they don't understand why you are doing this when, why you are pulling back, why you are doing this. Um, they think it's you got something against them. No, it's not necessarily that you have something against them. It feels like what it is is that, you know, you got that download coming in. You got this new way of stepping in your power. You try not to, you know, reveal too much to certain people. You don't want to slip, have a slip of the tongue or what have you. You want to protect, you know, yourself, your assets, and whatever it is that you got going on in your home life. That's, you know what I mean? So that's it. And it reminds me, too, of um, I was at the store. And um, this lady was very rude in the line, you know. Um, she 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 was doing her debit card, and the guy that was behind her, she was like, "Can you stand? Can you stand back?" So I can, you know, she wanted privacy to do her card or whatever. I, you know, all she had to do was just say excuse me and just you know turn so that she could do a card this way. You know, you just it's body. And so she was rude to him, and then right before, when she get ready to leave, she snatched her receipt from the cashier, okay, and walked off bouncing around and all that right there. And the, the, the young lady, the cashier, the, the guy was like, now see, I, I know she didn't. And the girl was like, I just lost my grandmama, and I really ain't got time for it. See, you never know what people going through, being snotty and, 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 and shitty to people. And and what she didn't understand was like these these two folks right here, they like look the young chick was probably ready to risk it out like fuck this job I will because you know you don't know what people are going through you don't know how they handling what they going through you can easily say well if you lost your grandma you shouldn't be here okay no that's not you no she still got to work and her grandma probably told you know was one of those people like no don't don't do that for me you already know I'm about to go or I was about to leave. We don't know. So you got to be mindful of how you are dealing with people. And, and whoever this person is, they need to be mindful of how they are dealing with you. Okay? Because you got a lot on your plate. You got a lot going on. You have a lot that you are facing. A lot more than what you thought that you would have to face. And, you know, you're trying to fight all of these different feelings and emotions. These different things to do. Um, you know, coming from under an illusion of um, what was into what is now. So there's a lot that goes with it. Okay? Surrender to your full power. Clarify this. Give me another word for the uh, fire signs, honey. Y'all, everybody getting all these cards. See? Um, some of you may be afraid. Got the fool in reverse. You may be afraid to take this uh, leap of faith. You may be afraid of what is to come. You may be afraid of a new journey, a different way of doing things until you open up. I really feel like y'all going to open up. Because now you'll be, um, with this four of wands, you'll be more at home in your spirit, more at home in your um, connections. But overall, this is you having stability in who you are, where you are, and where you are going. In a space with this knight of swords, with having the right information, now you've done some research, some studying. Now you know what it is that you need to do, how you need to do it, which ways you need to go. Um, I really feel like your intuition is going to kick up a whole other notch, whatever this is that is going on, because you're still an apprentice, but you're now, it's like going from high school to college, right? Um, you're in your first two years of college right here, spiritually speaking, or whatever this information, the way that you are utilizing this information, this new gift, this gathering of information, and before you can really put it out here and be a king or a queen in this situation, you're going through the steps, right? So you're more comfortable in your being. Um, you are removing yourself from things that no longer serve you, that have nothing to do with your future. Your intuition is very bright, but you want to be mindful of your words, mindful of the things that you speak, how you speak them moving forward. Um, also, with this Knight of Swords, I feel as though there may be someone popping up at your home, popping up at your uh, job 
with some type of information and you're going to be required to be very confident in how you speak to this person but also spare their feelings so the surrender to full power says your life is calling for you to step in your full power rather than playing a smile it's time to do some big dog big stuff y'all fire signs it's time Stop playing the smile, the fuck. You don't know who you are. Allow yourself to grow into who you are. You don't know who you want to be or what you want to become. Allow yourself to grow into who you are to be and who you are to become. You don't need all of the answers right now. All you need to know is that it's going, whatever it is going to be, it's up to you, right? Whatever it's going to be, sometimes things are bigger than what it is that you can even perceive. And it's not even meant for you to perceive it at this time. It's time for you to uh, really step out, be more of who you came here to be, whatever that means to you. If you're going up for a promotion, go for it. If you need to speak your truth about um, not making enough money, if you need to speak your truth about um, your situation in a relationship, speak it. If you want to speak, um, you know, if you want to keep the house in the relationship, keep it. But you need to go ahead and be lawyered up the right way because I'm telling you, somebody got a trick up their sleeve. And I ain't talking about no horn. All right, I'm finna go. I love y'all. Bye.